So then, as promised in one of my previous short reel, I give you the HTC Desire S. I actually paid for this HTC about two or three euros. I can't really remember the exact amount, but anyway, it's looking rather nice. And given that it's a flagship and it also works well, it complements my previous HTC from the Desire and also the HTC Diamond. Well, you can guess that I am actually pretty pleased with this purchase. This is actually, you know, a flea market find, so it's not really something ex out of the ordinary, but it's looking rather good. A bit of wear and tear and scuffs along the edges, but nothing too serious. So this is actually an interesting device because it is the successor to the HTC Wildfire, this being the S. So there are several similarities between these two devices. Um, they both share a 3.5 inch di diagonal display, but the resolutions are slightly different. So this is an upgrade at 320 pixels by 480 pixels, while the previous uh, HTC Wildfire only has 240 by 320 pixel resolution. Uh, they both use Android 2 version, but this, was a, this one is a 2.5 Eclair and this one is a 2.3 Gingerbread variant. And uh, the chipsets, well, they are similar. Um, this uh, Wildfire uses uh, Qualcomm MSM 7225 uh, chipset with a Snapdragon S1 528 MHz processor, while the Wildfire S uses a Qualcomm MSM 7227 chipset with a Snapdragon S1 CPU rated at 600 MHz and also adds an Adreno 200 GPU. So a slight upgrade, but not by much. Uh, also, the dimensions are a bit off, seeing as the Wildfire is actually the bigger of the two devices. Clearly, this, these phones are from an era where uh, manufacturers seem to think that mini premium pocketable devices were all the rage. And for all we know, they might have been. So anyway, um, enough messing about, let's check the build quality. It's okay, I guess, and really, uh, well, it is plastic, fantastic all the way, but it's a good plastic. It doesn't really creak. I'm giving it 80% of my, well, I'm giving it 60% of my strength right now, but anyway, it's working fairly well and it's not breaking in my hand, which is, well, always a plus, as they say. Now, moving inside, I want to show you the battery, which, interestingly enough, is also smaller than the previous device. Let me just show you quickly what I mean. So we have the two devices side by side, and, well, as you can see, the HTC Wildfire has a bigger physical, so the physical dimensions of the battery are actually higher. Uh, but I will try to find out whether that is the case in terms of capacity as well. So the Wildfire has a 1300 mAh battery while the Wildfire S has a 1230 milliamp hour battery. So, um, a clear, a slight downgrade in terms of battery capacity, but then again, the, the whole thing is optimized to work better. So yeah, there you have it, the battery and the insides of the phone. Let me just try to zoom in a bit. See if I can get more detail. Yeah, so there we are. The battery and the innards of the HTC Wildfire S. Now, lucky for me, I do have a spare SIM card. I just went ahead and inserted that. So 
we might as well just um, start the phone up and see whether we can get some signal with it, get it to function with a modern SIM card and maybe take a few pics along the way. So let's just start it up. All right, there we go. It's taking a long time to boot up anyway. Well, there we go. So it's asking for the pin code and I'll just do that right now. I'll in introduce the pin code. Don't worry, this is not a, an important SIM, so I can just show you the pin. Let's see if it's unlocking. Yeah, it works rather well. Okay, so I believe that the phone testing. Okay, so it seems that this phone is functioning correctly and what's surprising uh, that the battery is actually holding its juice quite well. So given that this is actually a 12 year old design with the phone itself being at least 10 years old. I think that, well, you, we might consider this a winner in, in uh, well, to my mind anyway. So what's left to do here is just check out the camera because I think that's the most uh, relatable piece of tech inside this phone and see whether we can take a picture. I previously installed um, an, SD ca an SD card inside, so let's take a picture of this rather quaint looking box and use the autofocus setting and see what we get. So will we get any subject separation? Let me try and get some of this wood veneer here on the desk so we can get to uh, a clearer uh, subject separation and details from the pick. Right, and flash as well. Well, anyway, uh, there we go. I'll try to uh, share this picture with you inside the clip. Decent details. So anyway, this has been a brief nostalgic revisit of the HTC Wildfire S. I don't intend quite that much by this video. My uh, only hope is that whether you have a niche that needs scratching, like <laughs> revisiting old devices, or you plan on getting one of these gadgets for your own to complete your collection, that you have found this video a bit informative and a bit entertaining as well. My honest thought on this HTC device it's not one of my favorite devices or gadgets, old forgotten gadgets, but it for two or three euros, it's certainly worth keeping. I don't know if I'll hold on to this one or I don't know, maybe one of you guys want it. I will gladly give it away, but there's one catch. I don't really want to pay for expedition taxes so if you want it you will have to assume the cost of uh, uh, shipping the parcel yourselves i don't know if i'm allowed to do this and i don't try to uh, make this into some sort of scamming raffle or anything like that but i think it's important that i share my passion with the rest of you and that means in the literal sense as well so if you want me to give stuff away, except for the eye packs, I will gladly do so. And as always, remember, I buy, own and collect, but sometimes share uh, old, obsolete and quirky tech stuff, so you don't have to. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.